So my name is Joe Pizzera and I'm currently studying abroad here at the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia through the Education Abroad Network, also known as TEEN. So for today's video, I thought I'd kind of give you guys a little look into the five-day orientation that actually takes place up in Cairns, Australia at the Great Barrier Reef. It's really a great way to kind of just meet other people and explore another part of Australia and just kind of kick off your whole study abroad experience. So let's dive right into it. We've officially made it to beautiful, not so sunny, but still really warm Australia. We're actually in the city of Cairns. Uh, it's like in the northern part, right next to the Great Barrier Reef. Sorry about the noise, there's actually a helicopter about to take off. But let's go explore the city. Well, I don't know if y'all can make that out, but there's like thousands and thousands of crabs. That's what all those little dots are on the beach. Yeah, one of the only downsides to being this far north in the tropical rainforest is, yeah, rain. Although I must say, considering how humid and hot it was, it kind of feels nice. After exploring the city some more, it was time to check into our five-star hotel. Teen had a stay at the Riley Crystal Brook Hotel right on the ocean, and it's actually said to be the best hotel in all of Cairns. So no complaints here. But first things first, of course I had to check out the bed. Well, damn. This is certainly a nice room, one of the nicest. It's supposed to be five star. Feels like it, especially with this bathroom. It's crazy. The shower? Damn. <laughs> well, one of the really nice things about this balcony is you can actually see a little bit of the city behind me. And then over to my left, you can actually see a beautiful view of the Pacific Ocean over there. We're going to be getting in that pretty soon out to the Great Barrier Reef and all sorts of other activities. It's going to be wild. The next day was spent at a local wildlife park where we got to see all sorts of animals such as turtles, crocodiles, kangaroos, and koalas. We even got to take a picture with the koala. After seeing a few more shows and animals, it was time to kick off our next day at the Great Barrier Reef. Well, good morning. It's officially day three, and yeah, that's kind of hard to believe. Um, but anyway, we are going to be heading to one of Australia's most famous landmarks, especially here in Cairns the Great Barrier Reef. Let's go. Well, you remember when I said we're gonna start doing all those crazy activities? Today is the day. It's currently like four something, like 4.40 in the morning. We're about to go jump out of an airplane. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go skydiving, well, let's go. quick update as you can see I am still in one piece thank god we made it back on the ground and that was the most incredible skydive I've ever done well I've only done two so I guess that's not saying too much but just take my word for it amazing that sunrise was breathtaking you could see everything like the city the mountains the ocean amazing all right so I know that video wasn't the most detailed long video in the world but I hope it kind of gave you guys just a little bit of a better idea of some of the things you might experience if you do decide to study abroad here in Australia. Now I've only been here like two weeks we've only just started classes today and I can already say like this is one of the greatest things I've ever done in my life. So if you're even slightly thinking about doing a study abroad, I definitely recommend it 100%. So yeah, that's gonna wrap up this first video and we're gonna check back in a little later into the semester and we'll see how classes are going and show you around Sydney and the university.